if you're thinking about getting an MBA, you're probably already thinking about how do I see the big picture of organizations as opposed to silos and functional areas. The MBA degree is really the best degree for someone who wants to see the big picture of organizations and how different parts of the organization can work together. There are other degree programs that specialize in functional areas, whereas the MBA tends to take a bigger picture approach to what you learn. And that's helpful for someone who would like to have the strategic lens on the organization. The MBA degree has been around for a long time, over a century. And when it first started, we were in the industrial age, and the topics were very different than what you would see now. And so you see a much fresher curriculum, a much fresher approach to the learning process than when the MBA degree first started. But the MBA degree is one of the most widely recognized graduate degrees out there. There's a recognition of what that means in the marketplace that sometimes you don't get with other degrees. Um, but the updating of the curriculum is really important for students because we want our students to be ready to not only be active players in the workforce, but to be able to advance their career. And that big picture perspective of an MBA helps people do that. A lot of people who come into an MBA program might have an undergraduate degree in the sciences or in a particular area of training and have worked their way up partway through the corporate ladder, but haven't been trained in management skills and leadership skills. And an MBA helps to offer that perspective. A lot of students wonder what it's like to get an online MBA. Maybe it's their first time in an online learning environment. And there are a few key similarities and a few key differences between an online versus an in-person MBA program. Some of the key similarities is that it's a rigorous program. It's real classes, real professors, real cohorts of students working together in a learning environment. And a lot of the same faculty members that teach in our resident programs also teach in the online environment. One of the key differences is that students have a lot more flexibility in the online environment, both in terms of when to schedule the courses, but also when to get the work done for those courses. So a lot of folks who are choosing the online MBA work full time, have very busy lives, and it's often a question of when can I fit a degree into this already very busy lifestyle. And so uh, as we work through the redesign process with our online MBA program, this is one of the key components is understanding the need for flexibility. And this allows students to choose not only the what of their education, but also the where of their education and the when of their education, which is a huge advantage for the student who has an already very busy life.